how would you rate how the last two matches went for you? We didn't get talk to talk, chance to talk to you. How do you rate your last two matches went over the weekend? Um, I just thought it was an improvement from my other matches. There were some things that I really wanted to work on at practice, especially with my footwork and just making sure that I'm just always locked in. So I just think that translating from practice to game was much easier than it was in the past just because my focus was so prominent at practice. So I think my performance was good, but it also just comes back to my teammates being there for me, supporting me, my coaches telling me every single thing that I need to know about the school, scouting report and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a big team effort. With, with, you mentioned full court. Was that kind of the focal point? Or was there anything else that you wanted to work on that you, you saw translate to the match? Um, probably my blocking as well. Just We call it the blue tape, so just getting to the blue tape and then just making my moves. Yeah. How many... Having a couple matches, how much that consistency, getting that regular playing time, how much does that help you kind of focus on those areas you need to work on and improve to get to the level you want to? Um, being in a consistent spot is nice, but I just think kind of regardless whether or not I'm playing, I'm still focused on those little things just because it's going to get me better whether or not I'm doing it for my teammates in practice or in a game situation. So just always having that focus regardless, I think. It's just like something I'm really, really focusing on. What, what areas do you think that you've improved with blocking? You mentioned getting that blue tape. I mean, and John's talked a lot about that too, about how blocking is one of the hardest skills in volleyball. How have, how do you kind of translated what you – you said technique-wise, you changed up a lot. Where are you at with your blocking? I think it's getting a lot better. I see a lot of improvement, and also I'm getting a lot of feedback from my teammates and the, my coaches. So it's just nice. Just when I'm doing it right, getting that acknowledgement that I'm doing it correctly is really, really good. But then also when I'm not doing it as efficient, just getting that feedback based on what I can just do better is also being super helpful. And then just translating it to the game has been nice. Just finishing through, getting to the blue tape and just not drifting out, that kind of thing. Yeah. Where is the, what is the blue tape? Can you explain that a little bit more? What is <laughs> so if this is the net, mm -hmm. like, and we walk over here, the blue tape is kind of like maybe seven squares inside okay. from the antenna. So just making sure like when I'm there, then I can just use my arms to upgrade, mm -hmm. whether or not like I'm blocking either on the inside or towards the line. It's okay. so just making sure that my body is there and then I'm just making my moves with my arms because I don't want to drift. Thanks. Yes, you're welcome. Last weekend was your first road trip, back-to-back -back matches on the road. How do you think that the team handled that? I think we did a really, really good job, especially in the Michigan State weekend. I think we did a good job just bouncing back and just kind of trying to find that consistency and especially at practice just making sure that we're getting ready for the game just because that's kind of our time to just do our own thing just making sure that we're super focused and locked in during that practice and then just translating it to the game what has it been like physically and mentally how are you feeling like on saturday before that match i think i was feeling good we do a lot of recovery and just a lot of different things outside of practice that really helps a lot so just like doing a lot of heating a lot of icing stem work all that kind of stuff so I think we do a really good job preparing to make sure that we still are at our a game even when we do have back-to-back -back matches what has it been like for you to work with and learn from Jordan Larson it's been amazing she's such a good teacher and she's just always there to just kind of see these little things that I don't necessarily see so it's just nice because she's been in the game for so long she has so much wisdom when it comes to the game just always taking in her feedback and just always looking at her whenever she's talking to me, that kind of thing, just to show that respect. But I just think it's amazing that I just get to be able to work with her for this amount of time. What are a couple of things specifically that you've learned from her? My footwork for sure when I'm attacking, just waiting, just because I sometimes get super eager just to go, so just waiting a lot. And then also just trying to find different ways that I can kill the ball, just because I don't always have to hit every single time. There's just things like I can go off the block, I can roll shot, do a tip. There's just so much variety when it comes to attacking. So always learning those little things from her that she just has so much more wisdom about. Illinois is your first repeat match so far this season. What's the player perspective and approach when you go into facing a team that you've already seen this season? Um, I think just kind of refreshing, just because that game is in the past. So just kind of looking forward and looking at our scouting report, making sure that we're doing what we have to do at practice, that kind of thing, just looking more forward instead of trying to look back on what we didn't do as successful against them, but just trying to improve on what we just maybe not did so successful, if that makes sense. You weren't here last year, but no. being undefeated for so long last year, I mean, it almost felt like, oh, we can't lose, right? Yeah. But now looking back at the loss to SMU, do you take anything away from that match and oh, kind of reflect on it? Oh, yeah. I just think finishing during the games, during like the set, just making sure that we know how to close and just main maintaining high energy, really making sure that we're focusing on what the coaches are telling us and actually translating it to the game situation. So I think just there was a lot of different things that we learned from that match, and I think that we've done such a good job just implementing everything that we've learned so far.
What was the team's reaction when they saw they got the number one seed from the committee on Sunday? We were very excited. We just, I think all of our training has really proven that we are number one. So I just think that it's amazing that, that we're getting that recognition. But also, I mean, that's just kind of a number that we're at right now. So it doesn't really mean anything necessarily because the tournament hasn't even happened yet. So just making sure that we're still going to practice, heads held high, still wanting to compete, still doing everything we can for each other, still listening to the coaches, all that kind of stuff, just because the championship is December 22nd. So we still got to wait all the way till then. Other questions? You, you've known Lexi for a long time, too. Yeah. How is being a teammate with her different than – how has your relationship evolved now that you're teammates with her? It's amazing. And also being roommates with her is also. Yeah, yeah. Alexi, yeah, so she's amazing. Just such like a fireball, so much energy. She's so sweet. She always has something to kind of contribute to all of our hitters, which is so nice when she's back there looking at all of us. And she's also always there to cover and all that kind of stuff. So I think that she does a really good job communicating to all of us. But then also she's such a strong leader on our team, and she does so much and contributes so much for all of us. But then also me and her relationship is just like this. I feel like from the get-go we've always been super, super tight. So it's just nice continuing to get that bond, that build between me and her. And I think we'll just keep going all the way throughout college Have and you past life. Knew about her in the past several months or can you I think, appreciation for what she does? I just think her personality. I love her personality. She's so sweet, so nice, and also we do so much together all the time. So I just think that just always being around her and just I think her energy is so nice and it's just so inviting and so warm. So just always being around her is always a good time. Love her. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you.